Hey guys, Kenny here and welcome to Trading to Team of the Season on Re Episode 2. And as you can see, we're starting the episode with 9,933 9 coins. As you can see, all three players from the last episode have sold, so that's a nice little deal. We've now got the Ericsson in centre forward position, 4411. These are both second in form Ericsson's, one for 19,000 and one for 23,500. So they'll both be a nice profit if we can both sell them at 27,000 coins. Around a 9,500 coin profit after tax for the both of them so hopefully they'll sell and we'll have some more coins because as you can see we've not got too many coins now to trade with so we go out and pick up a few cheap silvers we pick up this Christopopoulos I think that's Christopopoulos maybe make around 200 coins on him I just wanted to do some trading because I was on the account at the time so I thought I might as well just do cheap players we get this Ikore we're going to sell him for 2000 coins which would be a nice profit of around 1300 coins after tax we also then pick up this Kabare which we pick him up for, I do believe, yet 1,200 coins, and we're going to sell him for around 3,000 coins, 2,900, so it'll be about a 1,200 coin profit gain after tax. And then we get this Ross Turnbull in 433 formation, and that's going to be practically nothing profit, around 150 coins, but oh well. So I come back to find we have sold two items, and we've sold the Akore, which was a nice little profit, and the Ericsson at 27,000 coins. So that is a great profit of around 6,500 coins profit after tax. We then get this Elias in CDM position. Now I believe he's from this week's team of the week. So that is why that's why I've tried to pick him up, because obviously. We get him and he's in the CDM position, so there's not many of him out. So we we try and we're gonna try and trade him to his central midfield position and make a lot of profit. However, I do notice that this second Ericsson has sold in the 4231 formation for 27,000. We then try and pick up this Gomez in central midfield position. So that's why he's so expensive. He normally goes for around, I think it's 16 or 17,000 in the striker position. He's got 87 pace, which obviously makes him quite attractive. And in the centre mid, that's the good sort of player you want. Now we go out and pick up a CDM to CM card for Elias. So hopefully we can make the profit on him. And it'll give us a nice little return. I think it'll, if we sell him, it'll be around 6,000 coins. So that'll be two 6,000 coin deals, obviously, with the Ericsson and the Elias. So that's some nice profit for the episode. So hopefully we're going to sell him. So as you can see, we go ahead, we get the Elias, and it's already in a 4-4-1-1. So I've, I've picked him up in a formation, which is central midfield position sits. I did look for some more Eliases later on. However, there was none in positions and formations that really worked for me. So there wasn't the profit available. So we, we didn't it didn't work out the second time, but first time was absolutely fine. We win the Gomez in the 5-3-2 formation. So it's not the greatest formation. So we put him the cheapest on the market by around 1,500 coins. So that's about it for this episode. If you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to follow on Twitter because I could do with a few more followers. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.